Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. You have to excuse my red nose. I am getting over a cold and I feel like crap, but I wanted to get this video for filmed for you guys. So I'm doing this during my lunch on Monday and you guys will see it Monday night. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram for questions. So if you guys have more questions that I'm not answering either, um, you asked it on Instagram or you have another question, leave them down below and I will try and like work off this video next time. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So, um, the first question is, how are you feeling? Uh, right now I'm feeling kind of crappy. Not sure if you were referring to like me being sick or pregnancy. Pregnancy is going great. Um, just like with Macy's pregnancy, I have had like very little complications. Um, I'm tired, but besides that, that, I mean, that's the extent of it. I never got sick with either pregnancy. Um, and I feel really grateful for that. I, um, I feel her move all the time. She is so active. So that's very reassuring. Um, but it's pretty, I mean, it's going very well. And I know pretty soon I will get to the point where I am like just miserable and I'm like, okay, this kid needs to get out. But I'm 28 weeks today. So I'm in my third trimester now. And if everything goes the way that kind of our, my, me and my doctors have talked about, I don't expect going past December 30th. So that's kind of that. Um, next question is favorite song. That's a great question. Um, right now, see, I love a lot of older songs. And when I mean older, I mean like from when I was in like high school, I've been really big into like some of those songs. So I like pretty much everything. I love rap. I love um, like pop songs. I love country songs. I love pretty much everything. But one of my favorite songs right now is, um, let's see, I think it's called Wish Grandpa's Never Died. I Wish Grandpa's Never Died. It's by Riley Green. It's a country song and I'm kind of obsessed with it. I have that one going every time I'm in the car. Um, do you make custom sticker orders? I do not. I honestly just don't. I would love to do it for you guys. I would love to have that option because I know for me personally when I want a, a sticker it's great that I can just make it myself but honestly it just doesn't make it worth it because if let's say you just want like a script sticker with like your name Unless I have like many script stickers or like many custom orders, I'd use an entire sheet of sticker paper for one little name and it just, it doesn't make a ton of sense at this moment to do that. But if anything changes, I will definitely let you guys know. Is the CPA obligatory for the career? I don't think so. I think I have found many positions where you didn't need a CPA, but I think it's a safe, a safe bet to have it in case you ever run into a situation where a company does require it. So short answer, it's not required. Um, what makeup, makeup products do you use? I am obsessed with the Clinique uh, Barely Powder Foundation. That's what I use every single day. I've been using it forever. It's um, perfect because it has SPF in it. So in the summer, I don't have to put on sunscreen on my face. And I... I don't know, I'm Italian, partly Italian, so if I'm out in the sun, I do tan quite a bit, um, but if I don't put like sunscreen or something on, I'll get red, like my face especially will get red. So I try to always have sunscreen on, and it's really nice with that foundation because I always have it. I also use, um, the only other thing that I use on my face is I use um, the Bare, Minimal, Bare Minerals, barely sun I think it's called it's like a um bronzer slash blush sorry I'm trying to think about what I'm trying to say um and I use that every single day again it's perfect because it's perfect for winter perfect for summer I usually only go through that like one every couple of years like I don't use very much and so it's perfect I can use it for every season but those are the only two things that I use of course I have eyelash extensions so I don't have to use mascara um, okay. How do you balance everything in your life with work, Etsy, and family? I get this question a lot, and actually this, the, the question right next to it is the same exact question. Um, I think one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that after you do certain things, like after you 
film videos and edit videos after you cut stickers like you just you get more efficient with it and so I think nowadays um, with editing and with filming and stuff I honestly just try and work everything into um, the schedule that like we already have so my work obviously comes first my family comes first and then everything else just kind of gets mixed in wherever it can so today I'm filming this during lunch um, I'll go home and Macy should be sleeping and I'll edit it so that it can be up for you guys today if Macy takes a good nap then I'll probably get some Etsy stuff done if not then I will maybe work on it when she goes to bed but I don't I don't neglect my work or my family life to do this like this is all on my free time and honestly I enjoy doing it so it's not that big of a deal there are occasionally times where um you know we're not really doing much on a Saturday and Jason's like oh I'm gonna take Macy to like a play place or I'm gonna take her to the park and I won't go just because I don't need to like sit in uh, sit on a park bench while she plays like you know she's gonna have friends she doesn't want to play with us anymore she wants to play with all the other kids at the park and so I get some so I get some work done during that time as well um, but the main thing that I think is I'm just getting efficient with everything and the fact that Jason's a stay-at-home dad, dad really helps because he does a lot of the normal stuff that you would think of a mom doing and I hate saying that because I don't like you know stereotypes that the mom is supposed to be the one that cooks and cleans and all of that but Jason cooks Jason cleans the kitchen he does the dishes I do some other things like I will help with meal planning I will do the laundry I will clean the bathrooms I will straighten up I do all that kind of stuff but for the most part I'm not doing all the housework myself and I know a lot of families they have it where like the stay-at-home parent does all of that we really split it and so the fact that Jason's at home takes a lot of that extra stuff off of me if that makes sense so I think one efficiency really helps but also the fact that Jason's a stay-at-home parent really helps as well um oh my goodness so many questions about how I do it <laughs> uh let's see I love budgeting and planning and want to start my own Etsy sticker shop do you think it's worth it if I don't have a YouTube channel like you and other people worth it as far as will people buy them sorry for the long um message so there are so many etsy shops out there so many etsy shops and if you guys know like with planner kate i use planner kate for my my weekly budget or my weekly planning i love her stuff for my monthly view um, but i use my own stickers for my budgeting and I talked about this before but really the main reason why I came up with the Etsy shop was because there was nothing like what I needed out there at that point there's only a few Etsy sticker shops that sold budget stickers and um, they just they didn't have what I needed for my personal budget I wanted the weekly check-in page I wanted the variable income like I wanted it set up exactly the way that I wanted it um, and so I came up with stickers because I wanted something that was not out there. Nowadays, there's so many options. There's so many sticker shops and there's, they pop up everywhere. Like they are all over the place. A budget sticker shop is not that uncommon. Like honestly, you could probably find like 20 right now if you looked. Um, so I think with me, because I was one of the earlier ones that definitely helped, um, you know, kind of get me, get me out there but also having the youtube channel definitely helped as well because i had a little bit of a following people you know would see my videos and see how i was using it and they would say okay i want to do it the same way um so i think having a following on youtube definitely helped now if you want to start an etsy sticker shop do it like it there's no reason not to um i think the main thing that you should just consider is is your product going to be different than other people's because if it's not then what is going to compel people to buy your product and um without that like following it may be hard to find people that will but you never know i'm just saying personally i feel like um it's easier if you have something that makes you a little bit different to be able to do that um, but good luck if you decide to i think it's always fun i love my etsy sticker shop i can never imagine not having having it so i'm i definitely think that's one of the best things that i've ever done <laughs> um 
Do you ever regret not starting out in public accounting? Is industry fulfilling for you? I somewhat started in public accounting. One of my first internships was in public. I did not do like a full-time position in public accounting, but that was because I already had my internship and I realized I did not want to do public accounting. So um, answer, I do not regret it at all. I am so glad that I did not do public accounting. It was not for me. I am very much like, I, I love being with like my family. I love um, like spending time with friends and I just felt like the places that I was working, it took a lot of time out of my normal day traveling and I did not want to do that. So I made that decision before I even had a family and I'm really glad that I did. Um, is industry fulfilling for you? It is, it is, it really is. And I don't know if it's much different from public accounting, except for you don't have that constant travel and you're not working with many, many, many different clients at one time. Um, I talked about this a lot, but my goal, my next goal is to be a manager or like a supervisor or something like that. And so after we have this baby, um, that's kind of when I'm hoping to obtain that goal. Um, I don't know what that will look like and I don't know how long it will take to accomplish that but that is my next goal but for right now I'm focusing on the baby and trying to get through pregnancy and adjusting to having two kids um, did you prefer tax or audit in college oh that's a good question I think I preferred tax and the reason why is I only took one tax class, but I took two auditing classes. My first auditing class was pretty good, and then my second auditing class was advanced audit. That was horrible. That was my last semester in college. I got a B, that was the only B that I got in college. I had a 4.0 before that class, and I honestly probably should have gotten like at least a C. Like I did not deserve a B in that class. Um, so I would just say, in general, I felt like audit was just not really my thing. Um, it just didn't make as much sense to me as tax did. But yeah, so I definitely prefer tax more. Uh, what's your dream, your dream job or your dream position? CEO, CFO, controller. Um, I think ultimately I would probably want to end my career as a CFO, um, mostly just because that's, more related to what I've done, but I would also be okay with a CEO position. I just don't see that happening for a while. Um, controller is definitely something that's more attainable. Um, and while I was in school for my, for my MBA, I actually got offered a position to be the controller for a company and I turned it down a lot, a lot of that had to do with like medical insurance and stuff. I've talked about this before, but Jason does have a health condition. He has a heart condition. So, um, it's really important for us to have really good health insurance. And unfortunately that company just didn't have great health insurance at that time. So, um, I'm still at my company and I know a lot of people ask that too, if I'm still working for full time as an accountant, I am I'm just doing all of this other stuff on the side. Uh, what is your favorite and least favorite part about accounting? My favorite part of accounting is just the thrill that you get when you, um, when you like balance a spreadsheet or, you know, like balance a balance sheet or when you're trying to find some variance and you're trying to figure out why it's different from what you expected. And when you do it and just that feeling of like, okay, I looked at all these numbers and I was able to figure out the reason behind it. I felt like that was, that's always been the thing that I loved, even in school. And now I, I just love it. The least favorite part about accounting is probably the fact that every quarter for the rest of my life, like my entire life will always revolve around quarters. Um, and a lot of people I know it's like a monthly thing, but for me right now it's quarter. So every October is really crazy for me, which stinks because there's Halloween. So you have Halloween parties, you have trick or treating. And I feel like it's always stressful because you don't know on the 31st, whether or not you're going to have to stay late to work on entering stuff, or if you're going to be able to go trick or treating with your kids. So, I mean, you would, you would ultimately get to go. Um, it just might be later than what you wanted to do. And so that's the one thing that I would say is my least favorite thing. I rarely work overtime. I like almost never work on weekends. I swear now that we hired somebody, I will probably never work another weekend again. But just the fact that like 
your life is revolving around these quarterly deadlines is not so much fun, not a fun thing. How much maternity leave do you get? Any of it paid? So that's one really nice thing about my company and I've talked about this quite a bit, but I do have a great company when it comes to benefits. So um, just like we have really good health insurance, we also have really great maternity leave. So I get 12 weeks of paid maternity leave, which is like unheard of. I know a lot of people only get like six weeks paid. Some people get none of it paid. I'm lucky enough that I get the entire 12 weeks paid. So that's really awesome. And then I'm pretty sure that you can take vacation on top of that. So I may take a couple extra weeks of my vacation on top of that just to spend a little bit more time with the baby. Um, Jason will continue to be a stay at home dad. That will not change. What may change is sometime during my maternity leave, Macy may start going to some type of more full-time preschool or daycare or something just because she's ready um she loves school and every day she's like what day is it do i get to go to school tomorrow and so we just feel like she's ready um and it's also just going to be hard with a newborn in the winter when it's freezing or snowing every day um and there's just not a lot you can do with a newborn um, with her age if that makes sense. I know people do it but we're kind of in a position where we can bring her to some type of program and so we're thinking about doing that at some point and then obviously Jason would be home with the baby. Um, Jason does currently work. He, I say he's a stay-at-home dad. He does work like part-time. His part-time job is honestly just to give him some adult interaction and I'm pretty sure that during the first couple weeks or so he probably will not be working he'll probably take that off that will obviously be unpaid he does not get paid vacations or sick time or anything like that um, so we will have some unpaid stuff but for the most part like the income that we depend on which is my income will be fully paid um, Okay, how do you build your planning products into your budget? Do you count them as a as business? So I get a lot of questions about this as well. Um, a lot of the Erin Condren stuff that you guys see, I do either get um, from like referrals so that people will sign up with my $10 link, I will get $10 and I'll save it up and use it for like purchases when I want to show you guys stuff or whatever else. Um, recently though, I've gotten a lot of stuff in the mail from either Tori or Sam or just the Erin Condren affiliates. And so a lot of the Erin Condren stuff that you see, I am not paying for. In the beginning, when I first started my channel, I was paying for everything out of pocket. I would save up my my allowance, I'd save up my birthday money and I'd buy stuff. Um, but at this point, I'm honestly getting all of that either for free or I'm using referrals or whatever else. Um, Planner Kate stuff, I do buy with my own money. She's really nice that she gave me a like discount code because obviously I use her stuff all the time for planning. Um, so that was really nice. And that is considered a business expense. So most of the stuff that you guys see on my channel, like sticker wise or planning wise, that is considered a business expense for me because I'm showing it to you guys in videos. Um, I'm using it for business purposes. It's very confusing. Honestly, I don't like to give tax advice, so I'm not gonna go into more than that. Um, but if you're in the same position, if you have a channel, if you have some type of Etsy business, definitely talk to someone about what can be included as business expenses or what's included as, you know, your personal expenses. Obviously like clothes, what I'm wearing right now, I'm not business expensing this because it's what I wear every day. Um, but some things I do show on my channel, I do count as business expenses. So again, just talk to somebody, try and figure that out and what you're able to, um, what you're able to expense. Uh, next question is, I just missed so much of your content. Are you planning on taking the CFA? So I'm assuming that you mean my um, CPA material and I've had so many friends and family members tell me like there's no there's no way you're done like you're gonna go and you're gonna do something else you're gonna start studying for something else and it's been like what today it's October so June, July, August, September. So it's been like four and a half months since I finished the CPA and I have no desire at this point to start studying for anything. <laughs> I have looked a little bit into getting my CMA, which is the um, like the management accounting certification. Um, 
but honestly it just seems like a lot of overlap with the CPA and it seems like most people do one or the other so at this point I really don't think I'm gonna do anything else I have talked about it a lot on my channel but I do think that it'd be really fun to do um, like a law degree and I think having like an accounting background and the law like a law degree would be a great combination but honestly I sat through a couple contract meetings lately where we're trying to like talk about amendments and all of that and I can tell you right now I don't think that I'm gonna do it <laughs> it just it seems like a lot of work the wording is very confusing and although I did like my law classes in college I just don't think that it's for me so as of right now I am done I don't plan on studying for anything I think like I said my next my next main focus obviously right now is the baby and then after the baby it's going to be getting promoted and so I don't know what that's going to look like but that is kind of my next goal so I will definitely keep you guys updated on all of that and what I plan to do okay so I'm just gonna do a couple more questions what planner do you use for work um, for work I'm currently using the simplified daily planner and I love it I actually just got my coworker to also use it um, it's great because on one side you can kind of keep track of your meetings on the other side you can keep track of your to-do list um, at the very bottom of the to-do list section I have a follow-up section for anything that like I don't need to get done today but I need to like carry over for the next day so I love that I honestly don't really use the monthly view very much um, I do have a calendar like on my email like attached to my email so I do like every week flip through and see what my meetings are and fill it in um, but it's just really nice because it can be pen paper and just like I can just cross things off as I do them and I love that um, and I think that's gonna be pretty much it in terms of the questions I'm gonna ask like I said if you guys have any other questions for me leave them down below I will definitely answer them um, I try and answer all types of questions so I know a lot of people have questions about CPA stuff I know a lot of people want to know about like Etsy a lot of people want to know about baby stuff so any questions you guys have if if I don't feel comfortable answering them I just won't so don't feel like you can't ask something definitely ask it if you have a question um, and I will see you guys next time bye guys